What is up, rockers of the Rock Nation? This is, this is your fellow rocker X, Rockerman X here. And really, today is, I won't call it a rant video, so it probably will be labeled as a rant video. But it's not necessarily just a rant video. It's also my thoughts on CM Punk, a.k.a. Phil Brooks, a.k.a. former WWE Superstar, a.k.a. former ECW Superstar, back from 06. A.K.A. former WWE Champion, former WWE World Heavyweight Champion, former ECW Champion, CM Punk, A.K.A. Phil Brooks, A.K.A. whatever else you want to put in his accolade. A.K.A. Best in the World. No, I'm not going to go that far. But yeah, this is just my thoughts on him joining the UFC. And I apologize for that long-ass-winded intro. I was said, fuck it, I haven't posted a video in a while, lack of videos, be on my thoughts on CM Punk, and the UFC. And this video is most likely going to be a short one too, but anyway, if I really had to give my thoughts on CM Punk joining the UFC, I would have to say is, as badass as it may seem, you don't get me wrong, I'm not really a UFC fan, not an MMA fan all that much. I mostly watch wrestling and stick to wrestling, but CM Punk in the UFC, to me, doesn't personally make sense, but in a way, it does make sense, because part of his ring persona, part of his ring moves when he when he was with WWE was somewhat a UFC, uh, uh, mixed martial arts style anyway, if you think about it, just from some of the stuff he did, using the knees, stuff like that, blah, blah, but... If you really, 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 really want to think about, though, I am actually looking. I got. Hell, I'm telling you how to word this. Like I said, I'm not that big UFC or on MMA, but if I. But this kind of leads me more towards actually wanting to see CM Punk fight since. In the UFC, since he is signed to the UFC now for a multi, a multi fight deal, or multi fight, however you want to say it. And on top of that, it's just interesting now to see him probably outside of his comfort zone, too. And this is probably what he wanted to do as well. Go outside his comfort zone a little bit, because as far as we know, he's never really competed inside the Octagon or inside any kind of MMA, UFC-style match. We've never really seen him compete in anything other than WWE, really. Or any kind of wrestling, per se. And on top of that, it's just... We wonder if he has any kind of any kind of martial art experience. Yeah, he probably does. But... In a way, though... And on top of that, too... I don't know what CM Punk said. Because I'm pretty sure he brought this down on Colt Cabana. Stuff like that on his podcast. But... You also kind of think, though, that he's trying to do something else. Because he, cause since he basically quit, or he didn't quit, keyword fired on his wedding day in WWE, he's basically been sitting at home, doing nothing other than the comic book stuff that he has going on, stuff like that. So maybe he's just trying to get out there and do other stuff. And I kind of honestly, like I said, him being part of this now, can also bring in a promotional, or not promotional, with someone, say, WWE, sign with partnering with the UFC for a multi-fight deal, or former WWE superstars, I would say, kind of actually might bring in some new faces that you wouldn't really see in the MMA UFC stuff. Because they're trying to... Because UFC, again, is trying to make themselves a mainstream brand in some kind of sports entertainment inside a fight industry. So I can understand why CM, why CM Punk signed with him. And on top of that, like I said, to me, like I said, I'm not that big a fan in UFC, stuff like that, but I would be a new face to it they would be bringing in, and quite frankly, I do want to see CM Punk fight at least once. At least once. And there's one, and, and there's one person that I would love to see him fight against. And that is someone that I know have has a martial arts experience. Someone I know who's competed in the UFC before, and that is Jason David Frank. 
And you guys don't know who Jason David Frank is. That is the former Mighty Morphin Green Power Ranger, for, former Mighty Morphin White Power Ranger, former Red Zeo Ranger, former Red Turbo Ranger, the former the former Dino Thunder Black Ranger. So yeah, plenty of accolades. And I'm pretty sure you had to know more shorts in order to be in that show too. And but I, but still, Jason David Frank, aka Tommy Oliver from Power Rangers. And he's been in UFC before. He's been in MMA stuff before. He does martial arts daily, basically. And that's someone I would actually like to see CM Punk face against, at least in his first fight, maybe. See how that goes. But other than that, I really have no thoughts on it. Just other than, like I said, Punk new is interesting. It'll bring in new faces, possibly, to the UFC to make them a legitimate brand. And, yeah. That's really no thoughts, no thoughts situation there. I just wanted to make this video to make this video. But honestly, like I said, I find it interesting to him be in UFC now. I leave it for a multi-fight deal. And I at least want to see him fight once, see how he does. But yeah. And also though, before I go, later tonight or tomorrow morning, or I would say tomorrow morning, say tomorrow about noon, or mostly tonight, I'll be doing a NXT TakeOver R Revolution review. Hopefully, I will be doing it anyway, if I even remember. Because I've been forgetting a lot of stuff lately. <laughs> um, this Sunday, or hold on. This Saturday, I will be talking about this week in WWE, like Raw and SmackDown-wise. Also, along with my prediction, excuse me. But also, along with my prediction for TLC, and then Sunday night, of course, will be my TLC pay-per-view review is slash results video and maybe if I'm lucky I can get a few friends together and do a pre-show thing I doubt I can but hey you never know and yeah that's all I got lined up for you guys this week but also one last thing though too before I go there's this friend of mine that his name's Brian but but I met him on oh, he's not really a friend friend Let's say he's an internet friend that I know, a.k.a. from Xbox. That's the way of putting it. Or uh, an Xbox friend. That's a better way of putting it. And his name's Brian. He's Irish. He's from Ireland. And he's been wanting to start up a YouTube channel for a, long, for a while now. Or restart his YouTube channel. And if you guys want to show him some love, show him some support, his YouTube channel will be in the description. You guys can go subscribe to him if you want to. He's not really... He doesn't have any videos up yet, but he will hopefully sometime in the future. Because like, cause we're just trying to restart up and stuff like that, and he actually did ask me to do this for him. Um, as well as, if you guys want to, his he's known by Crispy Kid on Xbox. Gamer tag will be in the description as well. You guys can add him on there, give him some ideas, and also possibly his email will be in the description as well for you guys that don't have Xbox. You guys can message him through email. Give him some ideas. Give him some love. Give him some support. Stuff like that. But basically, help help him grow a little bit. I mean, I admit, I'm not that big, but hey. You guys, if you guys want to help him grow, you're more than welcome to. He plan he plans to post videos sometime after Christmas. Don't ask me when. I think, if I remember, he said during his summer break, which for Irish, it's different. For Ireland, summer schooling and stuff different over there, so I don't know exactly when that would be coming up. But, yeah. But, again, you guys can show him some love, show him support, subscribe to his channel. Even though, again, like I said, he has no videos up. Friend, send him messages over Xbox, give him ideas, give him support. Tell him what equipment he might need. Hell, you can friend him on Xbox. Um, like I said, Gamertag and his channel will be in the description. His email will be in the description too if you guys want to get contact I'll hold him that way. But yeah. And that's really all I got to say. If you guys want to, on my channel now, like this video or any video, comment on any of my videos if you guys want to. or, or you know. And subscribe to my channel if you're new to and like my videos. This video probably isn't nothing special, so if you guys want to go back and look at my uh, older videos, you guys can. 
and maybe based off that way. But yeah, and until next time, rockers, I'll live free and rock. Also, rockers, one thing I forgot to add on to that end of that video is Brian, aka Crispy Kid, aka the Retro Ice Gamer, whichever. I don't know exactly where he's going to go, what his YouTube name is going to be. But that's an idea that he spun around in my freaking headphones just dropped. But anyway, um, I think I forgot to mention exactly what area of YouTube that he's going into. And he's trying to go into the gaming part of YouTube, if that didn't make any sense. Especially from him being part of the... Well, when I say Xbox, you kind of assume gaming. But I figured I'd make it clear that he is trying to go into the gaming part of YouTube. So yeah. And now for officially... Until next time, rockers, live free and rock.